Welcome to Today Matters, a short devotional in the Word of God. My name is Tobin Wilkins, and I am one of the new pastors here at Skyline. I have a question for you today. Is it just me, or has the world gone mad? I used to think it was just Raider fans, but now I'm convinced that the majority of the world around us has lost their ever-loving minds. What was once right is now wrong. What was once false is now true. What was once logical is now illogical and common sense has totally been thrown out the window. Sometimes I feel like I'm in one of those zombie movies and I'm the only one left. It always makes me think of the Will Smith movie, I Am Legend. If you haven't seen the movie, basically the zombie ap apocalypse has taken place and he is the sole survivor in New York. There's a scene in that movie where he drives to a video store to rent a movie and throughout the store, he has strategically placed mannequins to help him feel some sort of normalcy. He walks through the store, checking out different movies and having conversations with the mannequins. Obviously, they are not responding because they are mannequins. But I feel more and more like our society is turning into mannequins. I mean, sometimes I just look at people and think to myself, are you really doing that? Do you really believe that? Are you really wearing that? Are you really saying that? Then I find myself wondering, God, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are you still there? How long can this possibly go on? Then I start questioning myself, saying, maybe I'm the one who's gone crazy. Well, let me tell you something. You're not the one that's gone crazy. Even though the world around us seems to be going downhill at a rapid pace and getting crazier and crazier all the time, our God remains the same. He has not changed. He never will, and his promises are still true. One of the most encouraging passages of scripture is Psalm 100. It's a short chapter of only five verses, and today I want to stop and focus on verse 5, which says this, For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Now let's pause for a second and dissect this into three easy bite-sized pieces. First of all, number one, he is good. And as our father, he wants what is best for his children. My wife, Lindsay, and I have been blessed with three children. Sometimes we get to be the Disneyland parents, and other times we have to make decisions for them that they don't necessarily love or agree with. But we do that because we feel it is best for them. God treats us the same way. No matter if our circumstances are enjoyable or challenging, he ultimately allows us to experience the high and lows because he loves us and is molding us and shaping us into the people he wants us to be. The second that part of that verse says he is steadfast, which means he does not waver and his love is unconditional. Hollywood has painted a very different picture of what love should be. Love me because I'm pretty. Love me because I am nice. Love me because I look like you, walk like you, and believe the same things you believe. God's love is not like that. He loves us in spite of who we are, in spite of our shortcomings, in spite of how horrible we can behave at times. His love does not waver. And the third part of that verse says, his faithfulness extends to all generations. Now, contrary to the way we may feel at times, God has not wound up a clock and walked away from this generation. Though he may not be pleased with what he is seeing, he has not thrown his hands up in the air and said, you're on your own. He sees what is happening, he is not surprised by it, and he is present with us in the midst of all of it. No matter how crazy the world gets, he is present. He will not leave us or forsake us. So to review those three points, he is good, his love is steadfast, and his faithfulness extends to all generations. I want to leave you today with a rendition of one of my favorite Sunday school songs. He's got the whole world in his hands. The song by Danny Goki, and it's called Be All Right. So take a couple of minutes and click on the link below and listen to the song. My prayer is that it will be a blessing to you and you will find assurance in the fact that he is still in control. Mm -hmm.